We begin with that breaking headline today, a Michigan doctor sentenced being called a monster. A day of reckoning for the doctor who diagnosed hundreds of patients with cancer when they did not have it. Outside the court, the tears and anger. He lied to so many patients, giving many of them extensive chemotherapy, which then made them sick. So many of those families today coming face to face with the doctor as he was sentenced to 45 years behind bars. And you're about to hear what the doctor said to those families. ABC's Ron Claiborne leads us off. Judgment day for the doctor who caused so much pain. Victims of Dr. Farid Fatah outside the courtroom where he was sentenced, hand in hand, then defiant. 45 years for the lives that he took. It just wasn't enough. In court, the 50-year-old doctor breaking down, saying, I misused my talents, yes, and permitted this sin to enter me because of power and greed. But those words, no comfort for Cheryl Blades. I could hear him talking to my mother because I went to every appointment. So I could hear him talking to her and promising her to save her. In all, Fata pleaded guilty to intentionally misdiagnosing more than 550 patients, often prescribing treatment for cancer that they did not have. He earned more than $17 million as a result. Dr. Fata pounced on every opportunity to use a patient's body as a profit center. One of the patients, 53-year-old Monica Flagg. Stressful. It was extremely emotional. In 2013, Dr. Fata told her she had cancer. He finally said, it is no longer smol smoldering. You have full-blown cancer. She later learned from another doctor she was perfectly healthy. I did one chemo treatment. The others did so many that they're practically dead anyway. This is just awful. And the question so many had, mm -hmm. wasn't there anyone else in the doctor's office looking at those charts, those tests to know these people were healthy? Well, David, eventually another doctor in the same clinic as Dr. Fata and an office worker, a staff member, did have their suspicions and took them to federal law enforcement officials. They were the whistleblowers. Were. And in the meantime, a second opinion you told me saved some people from the same fate. Right. Some of those people who were diagnosed with cancer went to other doctors. Of course, that diagnosis was not confirmed. They did not go back to Dr. Fata. They're the lucky ones. Always get a second opinion. All right, Ron, thanks so much.